Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the probability of not. First, we have to understand three important properties of probability. If E is an event from a sample space S, then the probability of E ranges between 0 and 1. The probability of an impossible event is 0, and the probability of a guaranteed event is 1, and everything else falls in between. That's why probabilities are fractions and decimals. Keeping this in mind, consider this example. When a single fair six-sided die is rolled, find the probability of each event. A, the number seven is rolled. Well, you and I both know that it's impossible to roll a number seven on a six-sided die, but let's go back to the theoretical probability definition. Knowing that the outcomes for the six-sided die are one, two, three, four, five, and six, we calculate the probability of a seven by taking the number of sevens, or favorable outcomes, divided by the total number of outcomes. There are zero sevens and six outcomes. Zero divided by six is zero. So here we see that the probability of an impossible event does turn out to be zero. Now let's look at B. We need to find the probability that a number less than seven is rolled. Once again, we know that our sample space only contains six possibilities, one, two, three, four, five, and six. To find the probability that we roll a number less than seven, we have to take the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. In both cases, that number is six. Six divided by six is one. So this demonstrates that by the definition of theoretical probability, the probability of a guaranteed event is equal to one. Now let's consider this example. When a single fair six-sided die is rolled, find the probability that A, the number three is rolled, and B, a number other than three is rolled. The outcome for the die has six possibilities again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The probability of getting a three is gonna be one chance of getting a three out of six. So the probability of three is one sixth. The probability of a number other than three would be, we'd have to count the number of favorable outcomes, which would be everything except three, one, two, four, five, and six. There are five of these. So we would divide five by six to get the probability of not three. There's a relationship between the probability of three and the probability of not three. Can you spot it? To understand the relationship, we must understand the probability of a complement. The probability that an event E will not occur is the complement of E. The probability that an event E will not occur is equal to one minus the probability that it will occur. Symbolically, this can be written as P of E complement equals one minus P of E. In the case of rolling a three, this would mean that the probability of not rolling a three is equal to one minus the probability of rolling a three. And that's true. We found that five sixths was the probability of not getting a three and one sixth was the probability of a three. Five sixths is equal to one minus one sixth. These relationships can also be rearranged. You could say that the probability of E plus the probability of not E is equal to one. Or the probability of E is equal to one minus the probability of not E. This would mean that the probability of rolling a three plus the probability of not rolling a three equals one, and the probability of rolling a three equals one minus the probability of not rolling a three. And it turns out that both of these relationships are also true. Let's think about these ideas in the context of a standard deck of 52 playing cards. Remember, in a standard deck of 52 playing cards, there are four suits, diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts. There are 13 values in each suit, ranging from ace up to king. These are called denominations. Each card is unique, no two are the same. When a single card is drawn from a standard 52 card deck, let's determine the probability of drawing an ace and the probability that it's not an ace. In a deck of cards, there are four aces and there are 52 cards in all. So the probability of drawing an ace is four over 52. Dividing four and 52 by their common factor of four then, this reduces to a probability of 1 13th. Now let's talk about the probability of not drawing an ace. By the complement's principle of probability, the probability of not drawing an ace is one minus the probability of drawing an ace, or one minus 1 13th. That would be 13 thirteenths minus 1 13th, which is 12 thirteenths. Here's an example from a My Math Lab homework item. It says, give the correct numerical response. 
If the probability of an event E is two thirds, then the probability that E will not occur is blank. This is an example of a time when you would apply the complement's principle of probability. We know that the probability that E doesn't occur is one minus the probability that it does. This is gonna be one minus two thirds, which is three thirds minus two thirds, or one third. Here's another example. A pair of dice are rolled. Find both the probability of doubles and the probability that the roll is not doubles. Whenever you're asked to answer a question about probabilities involving rolling a pair of dice, it's a good idea to look at the product table for a pair of dice to see all the different possibilities. We're interested in the probability of doubles. There are six ways that you can get doubles out of 36 possible rolls of the two dice. To find the probability of doubles, we're gonna take the number of favorable outcomes, six, and divide it by the total number of outcomes, which is 36. Reducing to lowest terms, then we get 1 sixth. To get the probability that we are not going to get doubles, we can use the complements principle. Probability that we don't get doubles is one minus the probability of doubles, or one minus 1 sixth. After you get a common denominator and subtract, that's gonna leave us with 5 sixths. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. The next video in this series is going to be the probability of or 